Hi, welcome to Balanced Health. I'm Shirley Rose and this is Joe Costello. If you're like the majority of dental patients, your gums bleed when a dentist cleans your teeth. But did you know that gum disease has been linked to several major health risks, including heart disease and stroke? Well, today we're investigating dental health and what gum disease can tell us about our overall health. To answer our questions, Dr. Ron Sheftor has joined us in the studio. Dr. Sheftor is a dentist, published author, and has developed a natural system to oral and overall wellness. Welcome back, Dr. Sheftor. Well, thank you so much for having me back. I'm You're thrilled. You're getting to be a regular around here, Good. and uh, and we have a lot of confidence in you, and you a lot of exciting things happening. Exciting at, at your information, practice, which we're going to talk about. But let's first start with a definition. What exactly is gum disease, and is it the same as periodontal disease? Gum disease and periodontal disease are used kind of interchangeably. Gum disease uh, means that there's inflammation or infection around the gums. And it could be very minor called gingivitis, mm -hmm. or it could be a longer standing uh, periodontal condition, which means now you have bone loss and inflammation. Now, I, I said in the read that most people have it. What are those numbers? It's kind of staggering. According right? to the American Dental Association, 75% uh, of the people over the 35 years of age um, have some sort of periodontal disease in this country. Mm -hmm. So we're not uh, controlling it very well. But we have developed a program where we have got that incidence of gum disease almost 5, 10 percent in my office. And that's only because those patients don't comply very well. Oh, okay. Uh, but I, I think what we're touching on today, what we're kind of unveiling here is that periodontal disease is maybe just a cover of a book that has a very interesting story inside. Yes, absolutely. Um, we were the first office to actually incorporate blood testing into our dental office. And so there's FDA approved blood tests that now are showing that there's underlying medical problems many times with periodontal disease. And so we're, we're, we're trying to shake our viewers up here a little bit today and say, listen, this isn't just about your gums. This yeah. isn't just about your mouth. It's not about a beautiful smile. It's not about <laughs> a beautiful smile. And it, it, this really goes <clears throat> topically, this goes in keeping with this whole show in the sense that we're always looking at the whole self, you mm -hmm. know. Your gums aren't screaming white and gooey and blood because your mouth is upset. It's because your whole body's upset. Many times, yes. Sometimes it's just a bacterial problem. But for example, a lot of the patients that we identified as uh, diabetics, they had no idea they were diabetics, but all of a sudden their gums were bleeding. I just, I look at them and they bleed. Well, wh now which comes first, the chicken or the egg? It, is this just a, a sign that something's going on in the body, or does the gum disease actually cause more serious conditions? Just recently, the recent research indicates that for diabetes, for example, if you have periodontal disease, um, it will actually help cause uh, diabetes. Now, if you have diabetes and it's uncontrolled, that will uh, inflam inflame the periodontal disease. So it's kind of a, kind of they feed off each other. Okay, so both. Mm -hmm. right. but, but still, if you have it, it's reason for further review. Absolutely. And I think probably a lot of our viewers are thinking right now, okay, a blood test in a dentist's office as if the drill and the spitting wasn't bad enough. <laughs> yeah, it, exactly. It's not all that invasive, though, is it? <laughs> but but how, did you, how did you come up with that? I mean, what gave you the idea to do that? Well, first of all, it's a finger prick. And, you know, diabetes runs in my family. So, you know, for me, a, a finger prick is nothing. But, you know, I couldn't control the periodontal disease no matter what I did on, a, on maybe 20% of my patients. Mm. And I said, there has to be something more. So I started sending them to the lab to get some simple blood tests because if you have gum disease, cholesterol gets elevated, glucose gets elevated, and C-reactive protein, which many times is an inflammatory marker or used as, as a heart marker. Mm -hmm. So it was within our oh, jurisdiction, if you will, of dentistry to test those three. So just out of curiosity, I said, if you got gum disease, what's going on with these? And then after my treatment, how does that look? Hmm. So I found most of the time those chemistries get, go down and get better um, if they have diabetes or, or glucose problems. We know to ship them off to the physician right away for a diagnosis. Well, you've actually had some, some, some pretty serious diagnoses in your office. Can you tell us a couple of stories? I think you've even diagnosed cancer. Yeah, there was, well, I never diagnosed. I never <laughs> want to take the place of a physician. Sure. I'm, I'm a dentist. I'm a safety net for the physician. And physicians and dentists really need to work together because mm -hmm. patients come seeing me when they're healthy. Uh, when they go to see the physician, they're already sick. So I'm the one that really needs to screen people, and it's a much better choice to screen and get people referred over. But one of them in particular is um, I've seen this patient for 20 years. All of a sudden they had mm -hmm. gum disease. It didn't make any sense. We ran them through our program, did the blood test, and they had a very high C-reactive protein, which is an inflammatory marker. By the time we got done with treatment, it tripled. Mm -hmm. 
mm. which makes no sense. Wow. It should have went down almost zero. So we knew there was another inflammatory order. There's five cancers that can cause an inflammatory C-reactive protein. Hmm. So it doesn't mean just because you have a C-reactive protein, anything serious. I mean, fat can elevate that okay. too. So we don't know if it's minor or major. Shipped them over to the doctor, and uh, sure enough, you know, there was two Hodgkin's lymphomas, a prostate, colon cancer. Okay. So, you, you know, there's, it could be a serious problem. But, but, the, but the underlying thought here is that we're looking at the whole body. So, you know, here's a dentist office as another portal to what's going on inside and can be a, a, a link to treatment that would help something that wouldn't have otherwise come up until it was too late. Eastern medicine, Chinese, uh, the doctor, he looks inside the mouth to determine what's wrong with the person physically. And mm -hmm. I really would love the day when Eastern and Western medicine can come together and get the, boast, the best out of both. Well, it is to a degree, I think, because we're certainly adapting, I think, some of the Eastern, you know. But, you know, the thing is, um, you, you can tell a lot about a person fr from looking in their mouth. And then the other thing that you said I thought was so important, and one of the reasons I think you started doing this, you said people aren't good about going to a doctor if they're healthy. But everybody goes to the dentist, or most yep. people go to the dentist. So yep. you, so that's why you're more likely to find something than the doctor, right? Yeah, I'm the best person in the world to screen hygienist and dentist because people think they're healthy. That person that uh, was, uh, I did NBC, um, he was diagnosed as diabetic. He had no symptoms of diabetes. He wasn't thirsty all the time. He wow. didn't urinate. He was thin. I'm huh. the only one that picked it up. He said, Ron, I would have never went to the doctor mm. for this. Unbelievable. Well, you saved his life probably. Well, we're having a great discussion here, but it's time for a quick break. When we return, Dr. Schefter will explain what some dentists are now doing to screen their patients and what can be done to prevent periodontal disease. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Balanced Health. <laughs> 